Once upon a time, there were two little kids. They went to the park. Their mother told them, Be back in time for dinner! At the park, the children had a blast until the youngest child, Billy, was playing on the play structure and cut his finger on a rusty nail. Oh no, the big bad germ struck again. <laughs> the two kids ran home to their mother. Mommy, mommy! Mommy got hurt! You're late for dinner! Y'all should be ashamed of yourself! Now go to bed! Higgins break through the first layer of defense, the skin. But his skin has destructive chemicals that can kill most of the bacteria. Several of the pathogens lived and broke through his, the layers of his skin, thus activating the inflammatory response, the, the body's second layer of defense. During this action, the fluid and white blood cells seep from the nearby blood vessels into surrounding tissues. These white blood cells begin their battle against the pathogens. Certain white blood cells, called phagocytes, break down the pathogens and exterminate them. In the morning, Laquana decided to make eggs and bacon for breakfast. While handing the raw bacon, she got a sniffle from playing at the park last night and wiped her nose. She got food poisoning into her system. I got a sniffle! The pathogens from the raw meat entered her stomach. Most were killed by stomach acid, but some survived and went on the same journey as Billy's pathogens. Some pathogens are strong enough to break through to the third line of defense, the immune response, in which the immune system's many cells react to the many different pathogens. Each cell has its own job. The cells that assign these jobs are called lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are split into two groups, T cells and B cells. T cells recognize and categorize the kinds of pathogens. They do this by recognizing antigens, molecules that your immune system recognizes as either part of your body or from outside of your body. These are on each pathogen. B cells produce proteins called antibodies that destroy the pathogens. Antibodies each have varying structures. Antibodies connect with antigens to fight against the same virus. In both cases, the children did not take care of their bodies and weren't prepared for the illness, but their sibling was prepared and kept the pathogens away before they could attack the immune system. <laughs> Charles was a good boy, you see. He always washed his hands and used tissues to wipe his nose. Or like Laquando. But most importantly, he always helped his younger siblings recover when they were sick. But Charles never got sick because he followed the rules of health all the time. Both of the children recovered in a matter of time and learned their lesson about their health. The end. Thank you for watching.